and we are live. Welcome back, everybody. How y'all doing today? Hello, Chuller. Hello, Rikush. Hello, Luke. Hello, Benjamin. So good to see you all. I technically was already in the game because right before stream I did my screenshots and sold the Let It Snow house. Hence why it's a different time of day than it usually is when the stream starts. No! Oh, Luke has a 70 stream watch streak. This says in the last month. I do not stream 70 times a month. Like, mm hmm. Puppy watches all the streams. Petrum says today is no, and Luke says today is very coffee. I get that. Yeah, we, uh, we're having D&D &D tonight, so need to have energy, need to be perky and ready to dive into all the socializing and everything. And I had nightmares wake me up this morning and couldn't get back to sleep, so... All right, um, Sugar's probably going to be involved. <laughs> Luke says, I'm excited for D&D. &D. I plan to immediately huck tort at the werewolf. Oh, gosh. Also, so I do have... Okay, this one needs final touches. Something about that is odd. I haven't figured out what I don't like about that build yet. Uh, that one needs stuff. This one needs stuff. This one is either done or close to it. That one needs stuff. I can't bring myself to sell that one yet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six houses that I'm like close to finishing. But I'm inspired and really want to work on this one. Hey Roy, how you doing? Roy says, Luke, they're lying to you about the streams. They are, they're gaslighting him. Benjamin says, I miss DMing D&D. It does not surprise me that you were the DM. That feels on brand. Vikush says, I never played D&D, but I'd like to. Just have no idea how to find groups here. I mean... Neither do we. We made our own. Like, we found... I, I have a friend whose brother plays a lot of D&D, &D, and he basically was like, I'm a terrible DM, but I'm willing to do it. And we are like, cool! So... And he's not terrible. He thinks he's terrible, but he's not. But he's... He was the person we could find that was confident enough to do it. So we got him as the DM, gathered a few people from our writing group to play with us, and away we went. It has been utter chaos. Like, next time we'll know a lot more of what to do for prep. But it's been very fun. All right. Oh, yes. Excellent point, Chiller. 
Okay, hang on, let me catch up. Roy's doing good. I'm glad to hear it. Benjamin says, I love DMing. Good players help, though. That's fair. That makes sense. Why why have you not been DMing? Is it like lack of people, lack of time? Roy says 70 streams in one month. Do the math. It's it's giving the energy of when the time changes and every um clock in the house updates automatically except the stove. It says, I really like DMing, but I'm still bad with mechanics. You have a real flair for it, though. Like, I'm excited to see you learn more about the game, because I, I think you've got what it takes. I believe in you. Chiller tells Rikush, we are part of a Discord called The Tavern that is always looking for more players for games if you don't mind playing online. Aww. Benjamin says, no people, no time, no place. I refuse to go online again. Aww. Kush says, Tavern sounds cool, but as I said, I never played, so I'd be a noob if I joined. Chiller says, I've played for years and I'm still terrible. It's part of the fun. Yeah, I don't know. I legitimately don't know if there's such a thing as a good player. Like, because so much of it is dependent on dice rolls, that even if you have the best build in the world and can come up with strategy and all this on the fly, you can still roll a nat one and now your character's dead. Chiller says Mark is the only good player. There you go. That explains it. He rolls so high. Benjamin asks, has online DMing gotten decent finally? I used to use roll... 20 i found just a huge hindrance but this is coming up on near a decade ago or so i haven't done really much online and i haven't used roll 20 or um D, D beyond but i know people that you could probably ask if you want all of the details i think there's some older stuff in here Benjamin says, I've heard good things about BTT. Is that like virtual tabletop? As far as I know, that's a paid service only. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm... I'm not really up on... The techie side of things. Surprise, surprise. Oh, Foundry. Okay. Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Okay. Rikush says, thank you for the offer. Currently need to focus on schoolwork and thesis. But if it would still be available after, I'd love to take it. I mean, we have quite a few D&D uh, &D fans in the discord so if at any point you're like it's time to learn to play DD, &D, i'm pretty sure you can ask and there will be people who can at least steer you toward good resources including people oh benjamin says wait foundry virtual tabletop is a one-time purchase it's it's not a subscription in this day and age? I'm clutching my pearls. Well, that makes the paid service aspect of it sound a lot nicer. <laughs> pearls clutched indeed. Alright, let's clear some stuff out. 
Mm. Aww. Riku says, community here on stream is just so chill and friendly. I love it. It's like being in a virtual embrace of friends. Aww. I love that embrace of friends, too. That's nice. And yeah, that is that is always my goal. That is always the energy that I want to give. <laughs> Benjamin says stream is my only source of cozy these days. Oh. Okay, so yeah, I thought it was a sub. If it's one time, that makes me a lot more interested. Oh yeah. Cozy is my brand. Cozy and slightly odd. Only slightly. In nice ways. Probably. All right. So, <laughs> let me tell y'all what my concept is for this build. It's it's rough. I'm I might just be roughing it in and we'll work on other stuff too, but I really want to work on this right now because I'm inspired. See, there's a coffee shop that Luke and I both rather like. He likes it because it has coffee and I like it because it's cute. And they've got that like Art Deco Revival vibe going on and it's really cute. So now I want to do Art Deco Revival. And like they have the prettiest color scheme. And so hanging out there on Saturday, the whole time I'm looking around thinking, I have this paint color in house flipper. I have that in house flipper too. I could make that in house flipper. Luke says I'm a simple man. When I see sub, I leave. He's not exaggerating. Yeah, Art Deco is really tough. This was, I really want to call it Art Deco Revival also. Hi Midas, how you doing? Because it's that thing where it's like sort of the modern millennial take on Art Deco where it's opulent, um, opulent, but angular, I guess. There's a, there's a lot of marble involved. You'll see, cause I'm going to clear this out and then I'm going to set up my color palette because I know what most of the finishes I'm using are. So. <laughs> More of a subtle art deco. Yes, exactly. Chiller says we do like hugs. Riku says with boyfriend, we joke about the word cozy because it kind of sounds like, well, I only know to read this as cozy. Cozy? In our language, which means female goats. Okay. Um, I think in English, the equivalent would be nannies. A, a female goat is a nanny. A nanny goat. But a nanny is also the word for a woman who like, cares for children professionally. And so that one's always funny to me. She's the nanny. Meh. So apparently cozy sounds like so I guess female goats get in everywhere. Yeah, there's so many weirdly specific words. So when I talk a bit in English and I say I feel cozy, he just starts laughing. I get that. Okay. I think... I 
think I might replace these windows. Some different ones. And let's do ooh, let's just do white lights for now. Stick with the black and white. Got a little less gold. Yep. All right, enjoy your lurk. Can I grapple up here? Sell these. Yes. Okay. Boop. All right. So. I know for sure that I need watercolor green, like a lot of it. Oh, is the lighting in here going to be so weird that it ruins it? Oh, I hope not. And I need forest green. I also know I will be using, I think it's called NYX. I could be wrong, but I think it's NYX. Yes, NYX Snowy Marble. And work is also under top. Yes, yes. Um, well, that's a good one. Might be a little too red. Too brown. Mm. Am has that dark about? I think Stella is what I'm going for here. Also, want to bust down some of these walls. I might build different walls, but right now I want the whole thing open. Blunk. double with on the side. Weird. Okay. So is there any more dirt that I missed? Nope. Okay. Good. Back to hammer time. Do wish we could build half walls. Because I would really love to have a half wall up here, but I don't know if I can find a custom content one that's the right color. This is <laughs> Also, this is the last of the cyberpunk properties that we have to flip, so if I finish this one, I'll feel like I've reached a milestone. Even though, you know, there's only three of them, I'll still feel like I achieved something. That's gone. for the bathroom floor. I don't know that I decided 
for the rest of the flooring. Maybe we start with the bathroom. That's where I like to start anyway. So, floor, tiles. That one's cool. I'm not using it here, but it's cool. I want... Every time I scroll through, I see at least two that I forgot existed. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Midas says, I like to make my own patterns with Art Deco. True. Maybe I'll do herringbone wood floor in the rest. That might be nice. Let's see if we can get a light in here that will fix some of this color. I don't think this is what will stay, but I need a light. Hey, Boomer. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Do beige. Okay, it's a little better. I just says this place is perpetually yellow undertoned. I'm realizing that, and I'm a, just a smidge upset. What do I want to do with this? Boomer says, what about that poor herring? Midas says, she took the herring's bones. Boomer asks, is this the Midas room? Because everything's turned to gold. Benjamin says, just had a few hundred disco LEDs. Gosh. Nightmare. not gilded enough. Well, give me a minute. I'll see what I can do. Um, maybe... Just had a bird in a gilded cage. Hush. Hmm. I'm like running through computations in my head, trying to figure out all the relative locations that I could put things. Like, uh, sinks. Is this one? Like, just barely fit. I might kind of have everything lined up, I think. I don't know that it's ideal, but I think it might be what we've got for this space. Mm, the marble's fun. Alright, let me see what I can do here. I'm gonna do green. The dark green. Oh. Okay. Oh. Midas says, I saw someone once put a halogen light in every possible space on the ceiling and turned on the light switch. Oh. That's, uh, that's a no from me. I think their computer crashed. I'm not surprised. 
like, no. Oh, I hate that everything is yellow toned. I feel like I need to come up with a completely different plan for this property where it's okay for everything to be yellow. I've not planned on yellow. Oh dear. Luke says it's never okay for everything to be yellow unless you're a banana. They can get away with a lot since they have no bones. Ida says bananas were never originally yellow. Are green bananas simply jealous of the yellow bananas? Probably. What if I did like a galley kitchen and had dining over here? The punning continues. Let me see what kind of window I can get in here. And uh, I get some of the 275. Huh? There we go. Don't jump. It's the Roy window. Should probably do the non openable version, though. That makes a little more sense. All right. Um. Blindfold rude guests and say, follow me. There 
we go. Now we got windows. I don't suppose it'll let me do the crafting hub. If everything is yellow toned, I really don't know if I can make my plan work. Guess we'll find out. Um, <laughs> so I need installations, assembly. I'm going to do a shower over here. I want it to be a nice one. And we'll do a sink over here. And I guess the toilet goes over here. I don't know what else to do. Tight squeeze. Maybe, uh, what if we did the suspended toilet? Would that be slightly less room? Might help. Shower. Bathroom fixtures, showers. Let's see. This one. Mm, no, that won't go close enough to the wall. Okay. Now it's time for everyone's favorite game. Well, that one won't fit at all. That's huge. All right, and then decorations, standing decorations, freestanding walls. Hmm? Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay. That'll be cute. Then over here, we need a sink. I think it'll be that one. Oh. Oh, there's this though. Yeah, I might do that instead. Okay. It is bathroom furniture, marble, snowy. Put that there.
Yes, I think. Did the music go away? Was there music? Um, let's grab... I can find it. Electronic equipment. There it is. Grab ourselves a radio. We can have haunted music. Okay. Ooh, that's better. I was getting the creeps and I couldn't figure out why. Oh, it's because it's just dead silent. Ugh. Big mirror. Alright. Hmm. You know what? Let's do the diamond. says please insert 25 cents into the jukebox put another nickel in in the nickelodeon <sighs> now it's just gonna be my brain for the rest of the day Put another nickel in, in the Nickelodeon All I want is loving you and music, music, music Come on, thank you Okay It works-ish? There's a lot of marble in here says for some reason I want the mirror to show someone behind you for a brief second. It's because you like horror movies. It's the only track I have on the radio. Let's see. And yeah, the everything yellow tinted is really throwing me off. I don't think I'd realized it was this yellow. Is it even this yellow? It's fine. Everything is fine. Um, let me find a door. Maybe not one that's mostly window. Um, this is a room for enhancements from the free cyberpunk DLC. Right. Um, I 
thinking this one. Use this one everywhere. But that's because it's like perfect. Boomer says, now I want to read Neuromancer again. Classic cyberpunk, I'm guessing. Um, I'm thinking, well, not doors, floors, warped floors, cluttered drawers. Yeah, I'm thinking this other way. This one. Boomer says William Gibson Neuromancer Trilogy is classic cyberpunk. Okay. I thought it sounded familiar, and when you said William Gibson, it's like, oh yeah. yeah I have not read it, but I'm aware that it was formative. Might have so dark green would be amazing with the yellow undertones. Yeah, it's not quite what I've been picturing, so it's throwing me off. Let me see how much space I actually need for dining room. Um. Yeah, the L is invasive. Like kudzu. I know that I want... Right. Boom. And I don't know if I'm going to do a rug. I don't know what kind of rug I would do, but I do know what kind of table I want. In fact, I know the exact table I want. Boomer says Neuromancer, Count Zero, and favorite title to date, Mona Lisa Overdrive. Now that's a title. This chair. Oh. Boomer says, opening of Neuromancer, the sky above the port was the color of television tuned to a dead channel. Oh. All right, well, now you've got me curious. Love a good opening. That's not bad. So I put this floor under it. Get that much space. Yes. Okay. Note for future. Do room for enhancements in like a warm golden boho style? Because all of the yellows will look like a warm cream. Or all of the whites will look like a warm cream because of the yellow. like a railing of some kind. If I could put up there. This 
this thing, I guess. I suppose that might work. Might have to expand the dining room. Do I have any others? Probably not. It's not something I'd considered stocking up on. Um, I just need to go through and get rid of a bunch of these. I haven't been using them. Why did I get rid of that? I swear I unsubscribed from that three different times. It's fine. Everything is fine. Maybe I'll grab my uh, radio so we can actually hear the music again. That fits nicely. I appreciate that. There's that. Thinking of how awful this very open kitchen would be. Cause like if you're if you put the stove on this side, then like you're gonna wind up with weird things splashing onto the floor below, I think. And like a uh, weird mess that you can't reach and stuff. But if you put the sink on this side, it would be very, very easy to accidentally topple a dish all the way down. Neither of those situations sound ideal. Glass walls. It's not a bad idea. Rumor says just add a counter with posted in contact info for Uber Eats, DoorDash, etc. There you go. Work smarter, not harder. Let me look at what the glass wall options are. Or says, sadly, my life has consisted of only working harder. I think that there's some people in this uh, chat that would relate to that. Hmm. Oh, it's mountable. Oh, interesting. I can't do that up here. All right, well, we'll just pretend that it would be fine. Um, so to start, I'm gonna find, where's it? There it is. Um, let's, let's 
do the 60. Yeah, white gloss. And snowy marble. Beige handles. Boom, right up to the edge. And no bottom. Oh. Okay, that's actually kind of fun, because then it looks like the backsplash flows into the countertop. I suppose I'll allow it. I also need to grab flooring of some kind. Do I want to do the same one? I don't know if I do. Try it, and I can always change it later if I don't like it. Um, you know, it's from Luxury. That makes it easier to find. Alright, have a good day, Boomer. Thought you could stop in. Alright. Oh. Snowman. Light. Okay. Um, I do definitely think I'm going to want a dishwasher. I don't always remember those. But I really think I want one in here. And... Probably just do the little sink. Okay. That's more like it. Alright. And Again with the like doing math in my head kind of thing. Let's try the stove over here. Flat to match. Right over there. Because I would very much like to have the fridge on this side as well. First, let's do this one. I have a concept and I want to see how it looks. So there's that. Like, everything is so open, like, kind of terrifyingly open. Or at least for me. Some people probably find it very comforting, I guess. Electronic equipment, refrigeration, oh. Hmm. Marv one is pretty nice. Hey, look at that. It's got that sleek little gold accent. We'll see if we can make it fit. It's the right depth. Why 
white gloss, smelly beige white gloss. Yeah. I want to try just a little one, and then once I've got the cow, the the cupboards all the way down, we can see how well it fits. Mm, I'll do this one. Why not? I like having drawers right next to the sink because then I'm like, you could keep the extra towels in there. Like, it's House Flipper. They don't keep extra towels in anywhere. But I still feel better. What do we have that has fives? Of different sizes so you can store lots of different things. And just trying to figure out how much space there is. Okay, um, the 50. I swear this game has taught me more about the metric system than any educational materials I have yet found. Another 50. Okay, yeah, that's plenty of room. Lovely. Then we need hanging cabinets to go with. Okay. That almost fits. Not quite, but almost. Uh, ventilation cabinet. So, I'm gonna put that there while I fit everything else in. This one was a 60. Up it goes. Yeah. And then over here, I did, what was it, a 45 and a 25. be what 70 and then that one's either a 50 or a 60 so whoop. right it's that lovely time of year where every 20 minutes i have to either take my jacket off or put my jacket on don't you just love it Button. Okay, 
50. Hey, Lociation. Welcome, welcome. Ooh. Cooking sounds nice. And I need the snowman. Um range hood or whatever it is. Kitchen, electronic equipment, other. Where'd snowman go. I square past it like twice every time. There it is. I think I always expect there to be more of it, but there's just the one version. Okay. And let's do... Hmm. Let's do this one. My fancy kitchen light. I will also need to figure out what I'm doing. Table. I might do my th my thing where I do all three of this together. That'll be nice too, because then it's okay if it's not like totally centered. That is going to make a difference because the yellow will still overwhelm absolutely everything. It's better. It's definitely better. The yellow is still there, but it's not as strange. So. Come in, light. Hanging. All right, what can I put over here? Um, what will fit? Light and beige. Oh, perfect. Place is weird. Alright, it's just gonna be a little gap. That's fine, everything is fine. How big is the fluffy rug? If fluffy rug doesn't work, I think I'll do the stripey one. But I'd like to see if fluffy rug works. Too small. So sad. Ooh, this one also works nicely. I like the swoopiness. But if I do this one up here, I can do the rectangular version of the swoopy one somewhere downstairs and then I can kind of spread the swoopy around okay two legs 
on rug. Boots on rug. Okay. Excellent. I'm not entirely positive what to do with this wall, but I appear to be doing something. visual interest and figure out the practicality in a little bit. Oh, a Rhapsody? Yeah. Mm, wait a minute, what's that other one? Not that one. Might be that one. Yes, this one. Okay, something is weird with this room. You cannot put things all the way to the ceiling. There's a tiny, tiny gap. Ooh. This is a very odd house. The lighting's weird. The ceiling gap is weird. Okay. Alright, with the neon light particularly, that's pretty fun. Peninsula as well. I think that adds some nice division. Yeah, you cannot tell what color anything is. Alright, here's something that I know they can't do, but I would love to know the data. I want to know how commonly each of the properties is used as the home office. Like, I so desperately want to know that. It's like, there are houses that I can't stand. That, I, oh gosh, I don't want to flip it. I don't want to look at it. It's weird. And I go on YouTube and I'll see all these videos of decorating house I hate as my office. And I'm always just like, so of all the houses, that one's your favorite? Like your favorite favorite? But then the houses that I love quite frequently, I will look up and I'll see people renovating them as like outdated grandma house and stuff. So it just really makes me wonder like how popular each house is for office. Whoop. Here. 
You can hold this too high all you want. It's not that high. Oh no. We've had this problem in apartments before. Like, it's paintable ish. Not real. You can reach. And I'll refill the roller first. Then I'll grapple up here. Whoop. No, what are you doing? Quit that. Bad flipper. No biscuit. is an awful lot of wall. And then this color goes down here. Missed a spot, so I need a little bit of this one right here. Okay. okay. Let me take my radio with me. Come in here and paint this. Okay, so concept. So this is a room for enhancements. It is the last cyberpunk property that I still need to flip. So I've been trying and trying and trying to come up with a theme to flip it to because I wanted to have that sense of accomplishment of having flipped the whole set. And we were at a coffee shop recently and I really liked the vibes. Like, how about I flip it in that style? It's cute. <laughs> Welcome back from the darkness, Rikush. So the idea is sort of a modern art deco, that art deco revival style that's been pretty popular. With lots of greens and white marble. Unfortunately, I had not been aware that the lighting on this property is incredibly yellow. Like, just so wildly yellow. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, would be it? Too big. Yeah, that's way too big. Um, I think it's a cute coffee shop, but it doesn't have any bath mats, so I have to come up with it myself. Oh, popcorn's fun. Texture might be a little too obviously welcome, Matt. 
Otherwise, I kind of like that one. Might work, might be a little big. I think it works okay. Posture check. Okay, yeah, I needed that. <laughs> Luke says popcorn sounds good, immediately followed by, oh no, where did this popcorn come from? Uh, we had D&D &D last week, and it was Tom Foolery's turn to bring a snack, and he brought popcorn. We still have a little bit left. I'll be using those a bit. Uh-oh. Looks getting hungry. It's not dinner time yet. It's too early. But it's too close for serious snacking. Rikush says, I was flipping a small house yesterday and I kind of forgot someone is supposed to live there and accidentally made the whole thing a kitchen. That's hilarious. I love that. I get that. When you say small, are we talking like the first office, um, almost only a garden? Because almost only a garden was really hard. Or, like, the burnt house or the abandoned house. It's, like, almost only a garden and first office are basically one room anyway. Second, almost only a garden? Or just, like... Second. I was tired of it being office. Yeah, I really like the challenge of trying to do tiny houses. But also, like, ah, camping bungalow. Yes. Yep, I did that one in sort of a rustic Scandinavian inspired look I already the waste basket welcome back benjamin dogs have been walked and chicken has been acquired what kind of chicken now i want chicken we already have dinner plans hmm Luke says, hope the dogs will get along with her. Benjamin says, skin on thighs, baked. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Ah. And this one. Also dark green. Okay. Yeah, camping bungalow is really hard. Like, 
It's a tiny, tiny house. Ooh. Oh, Rikush says, I'm looking forward to lunch tomorrow. I bought champignon. And I'll make creamy mushroom chicken sauce with homemade pasta. Uh, if you remember, please share pictures in the Discord. I'm a fan of food. Roses? We do have a channel for that. Mikush says type of mushroom. I did know it's a type of mushroom, but I'd never had to say it out loud before, so there was that moment of, oh no. Like the most common a person can buy here. That's interesting. I think... Is it button mushrooms? I think there's these little white mushrooms that are very much the most common mushroom here where it's a little difficult to find other types sometimes we did find like this one little um it's not quite a health food store but like a a natural grocer that has enoki mushrooms and i'm really excited about that hey sapphire welcome back how are you today? Ants. I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah, I've seen a few different names for the same ones. They're trying to trick us into thinking that we have more than one mushroom option. It's a conspiracy. Sapphire says, I'm at my small human speech therapy right now. It's been quite a day so far. Aww. Well, I'm glad you can take a quiet moment. I need a towel hanger. Let's do this one. Well, not that one. Not single towel, small towel. Let's do this one. Okay. That's more like it. Okay. And I hope your day look continues to look up. Ooh. Oh no, Sapphire says we're cutting her hair tonight. It's just torture on her having to brush it when it gets knots, and it's curly, so it's just not central. I can very much relate to that. Cut your hair short, not off. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I... I have naturally curly hair, very thick, and as a kid I had super, super long hair. And it was just miserable for all of us because I also had sensory issues and I don't like... I, mm, no, I don't like it. I get very overwhelmed by having my hair brushed or messed with or detangled or any of it, so... Things would get bad. I do much better now. Tush says, I'd never heard button mushrooms, but I saw champignon in quite a lot, mostly European videos, so I thought, all right, that. Good to know, at least I have new vocab with button mushrooms. And now I know which ones are champignon, because I've seen the word, but I never saw which kind of mushroom they were talking about. Sapphire says, my daughter's autistic and has the same sensory issues with hair. Oof. Yep. Uh, she has my sympathy. Wait. It's taken me 30 years to learn how to wear socks. I have to, like, 
I have to be conscious of what my inputs are so that I can balance and be like, well, if I've got something that's more of an input here, then I need to have these things be more chill. So, yeah, it, it has very much been a learned skill. Yeah, that's, uh, like, it's rough enough for an adult. It's way worse for a kid. Oh, good. Rikush got some rest. So even though I didn't sleep much, only like four hours, I feel much more rested than previous few days. Glad to hear it. Rikush says, I have the complete opposite. I have to wear socks even in summer when I'm boiling. Fascinating. I should have a plant in here. Plant. Let's do this one. That'll be fun. Yes. Yeah, it's like my and one of my brothers is sensory seeking, so watching TV with him was always just open warfare because my ideal way to watch TV is generally with the sound off and just reading the subtitles, or at least the sound really, really low, so I can tell what the music is doing, but I don't really have to listen to stuff, um, while his preference is to have it movie theater loud. And basically, my poor mother. <laughs> Dealing with both of us in one house. Luke says Princess likes her feet weapons grade cold. I, I don't know that I like that they get that cold. It's just if the alternative is wearing socks, I prefer not. You know? Um, I need some kind of like bar stool or bar chair. Oh, these ones are fun. So are these. Uh, I don't have wood. Oh, this one's metal. option. The possibility. We'll see. Um, one's also kind of fun. Hang on. Okay, that fits a lot better. It's kind of cute. We'll see. Glass is kind of fun too. Hmm. There's too many fun ones. Which one has the right vibe? I don't know. Hmm. really cool. And then there's this one. Maybe this one. Mostly because I can get it in that slightly smaller size that fits just a tiny bit better. Okay. Let's do 
this one, I think. Zip. Yeah. Okay. Same but different. Oh. Let me get rid of this thing yet. Maybe I can grapple for anything else I need. Okay. Yeah, I also have a brick one. Ooh. Hmm. Right, I'm curious. I knew it. I knew they were a different angle. So I will probably have some kind of reading nook under there. I don't know what else to do with myself. Now, what kind of TV stand? Hmm. That's pretty nice. That is an awful problem. Absolutely not. Maybe? Hmm. Oh, wait. I have this. Let's see how big that is. Like, that's a piece of CC that I haven't used yet. Uh, that might be perfect for here. It's got the vibe. It's got the colors. Yeah, we're doing it. Alright, electronic equipment, entertainment, TVs. Um, that is a gigantic television. But also, this is a gigantic room, so it works, I think. I think. I'm gonna test something even though I already know the answer. There's no way that it'll let me put this all the way up to the edge, right? Oh! Oh, it do! Can't put it under the stairs, though. Yeah. It would need to stop right at the edge of the stairs. is a little annoying, but you know, I might be okay with it. We'll do the same um, kind of distribution. It's upstairs, I think. Let's do this one. would make an obnoxious ledge that's impossible to dust, but we'll pretend that's okay. If it's a perfect fit, then we can do it. It's not. Oh, that's a bummer. Alright. Use parkour. I still want to do the floor molding, though. I feel like that one we need here. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's a perfect fit. That's satisfying. Okay. Ooh. And I had a horrible thought and I need to write it down. Have so many weird post-its when I need actually need a post-it. It's like which one of these is the most post-it shaped? Okay. Alright. I have to write down the idea. Oh yeah, that's a terrible idea. I'm gonna regret thinking about that. Okay. Do... Right... Thinking... No, because that's... Tiny. I need a tall version. I need one that's actually a proper floor lamp. Rude. Hmm. I feel like I'll need to explain it to you off stream because I don't want to give people ideas. And it will absolutely give people ideas. Like, I don't want to be committed to this quite yet. Okay, and let's do a small version of this one. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Um, rug. Maybe rug next? Decorations, floor. Get that upstairs. This is the one for downstairs. Whoa. That's a very large rug. This room is huge. You know what? I think I can fill it. Let's see. Oh, uh, I want to do. Hey, trumpet! Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? We're all right today. Yesterday was a little overly exciting for me. I was the most exhausted, but I, I've i recovered. I'm here. I'm trying to do something kind of art deco revival in the last cyberpunk apartment. We're good. That's pretty. I like that. Um, Trumpet says I'm fighting with my code like normal. Ah, Sisyphus. Rolling 
stone up the hill every day. Yeah, I was, um, extremely wound up after the stream. There, I think. Let's do... I'm gonna look one more time. Just... Themes is fun. I'm aware that it's not Art Deco. It's a completely different era. But Art Deco Revival is different. It does not have to actually be Art Deco. It's just kind of... Vintagey with touches of opulence. Very bold. Glass is glitched, so we're not doing that one. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Right. Uh Decorations, no, furniture. Furniture, living room, tables, ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Look at it. It's just a baby. Whoa. Meanwhile, that is absolutely gigantic. And so tall. <sighs> Trumpet asks, does House Flipper have the cheats the Sim does for enlarging and shrinking objects? It does not. I wish. Yeah, I think, I think sandbox mode in the second one. You can, but not this one. It's sad. Legitimately, when I switch between Sims 4 and Sims 3, it's one of the few things where I'm like, man, this is better in Sims 4. Hmm. Cute, weird, too tiny. Ah, people describing me. Oh, ooh. If I stack those, just a smidge. Like that. I think that'll do. That'll be nice. Hmm. Then I think to continue that theme, do this one. Nick says I've got over a hundred thousand channel points. I'm going to swim through them later like Scrooge McDuck. 
gosh. Thank you for that mental image. Trumpet says there are always going to be things that get dropped between games that players miss. Or like kind of late franchise additions that just completely change change it up so much that when you go back to the older ones, you're like, how did I even get through this without that thing? Why couldn't they have thought of this earlier? I really want to use this one somewhere. And I really, really wish that you could put pillows on these. Trumpet says I've got almost half that. At Luke, you swim in your large pool, I'll splash around in my kiddie pool. I think they did past kitty pool a while ago. I am planning to do under stair reading nook, but I think I'm going to use a custom content uh, chair for that. Hang on. Alright. Luke says we just need something we can spend a hundred thousand points on. shelf. Yes! Hang on. Boom. Kitchen and dining. Needs some accessories, but this is the idea. We're making fantastic progress on this place. It's so nice to do like a little one bedroom something after doing way too many like three bedrooms that just feel like they go on and on forever. So. Thank you! I like it. Trumpet asks, please tell me there's a neon wall sign that says the cake is a lie. <laughs> Not that I know of. I'm sorry. Riku says I'd be worried about stuff falling from the counter. Oh, I'm absolutely terrified. I could never. We tried to put a glass wall there and it wouldn't go, so... Don't get a cat! Oh gosh. No lie. Hmm... Okay... Cute, but not quite it. Yeah, the entry door does have to be the original. It's a bummer. Hmm. What's this one? really like one that has a little, just a little bit of a metal accent. Um, might work. That one, though. Ooh, black matte. Gold. Alright, alright. Hmm. 
Okay, just a little collection. And... I'll use this. Mm, okay, so those are too high. A little bit. Over. Okay. Something more like this. big for there. Might be fun somewhere though. I think I remember what it's called. Not that. Furniture. Living room. Tables. some kind of round rug if I could mm. I don't tag this one round carpet well I'll probably get more results if I spell it correctly Something dark to balance out the light. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Oh, thank you, Roy. Okay. Like some kind of footstool, probably in like. Then I can have that touch of gold to the feet. Okay. And lights, standing lamps, table lamps. We're going to do this one. That just oh, oh, I'll do that. Let's grab blanket. Blankets are always a good idea, as long as they don't glitch. Interesting. Not quite what I'm looking for. 
before, I think, but interesting. and floating, so it's more obviously floating. Okay, I hate it. I keep seeing this as a trend and I hate it, but here, we'll just put the pillows on the floor. I don't know why it's a trend. I don't get it. Like, the floor is where the dirt is. Okay. Never makes people happy. of happy. Let's give them a book. Maybe even book suck. Yeah, people will tag things in the oddest ways. Do I really like this stack? Not if it quite fits here, though. Alright. Book. 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 Let's do this one. Oh, that's fun. And it kind of goes with the shape of the um, staircase. Alright. drove by and I could feel it in my jaw. Yikes. Mm. What other books have I got? I have these really pretty green ones. Best way for me to use the green ones. This and then grab maybe the fables. Okay. Our stack. that uneven books one. Oh, there's also this I don't never use. But it's here. Okay. There we go. Got a little bit of variety. Just a little quiet, cozy spot. We gots to have it. And... I know I need a rug in here. Oh. I need to figure out what rug. Decorations floor. Um, mm -hmm. I am very, very pleased with how much progress we're making. I don't know. Like, like, I feel like I'm putting the bed against this wall. 
headboard over here. I don't know. That might be dumb. I don't want to do dumb things. Hmm. Yeah, I'll grab the bed. And then I can, like, rotate it around. Riku says the strangest thing happened to me. Okay. Lay, lay it on me, I guess. As long as it's family friendly and follows the chat rules, lay it on me and we'll see if it really is the strangest thing. Okay, it would fit there. So fit there. Oh. Riku says when you have a scaffolding in the game and have a paint can on it to move the scaffolding, the paint can just turns invisible. It's still accessible, but it's invisible. I'm gonna report a bug. That sounds like a bug you'd report, yeah? Okay, what if I did it that one? I think I would change up which wall is the accent wall. Maybe. Make that the dark green and that the light green. Yes. Maybe. I'll try it. Oh. Not that you can even tell it's light green, but once we get some uh, lights in here, it might be slightly better. Just slightly. Okay. And... Oop. Keep walking behind the door and getting stuck in the corner. Wait. When I say I have no sense of direction... Almost made it. Okay. Alright, so if the bed is there... Put there for now while I try to figure out rugs. Because I think then this one... Yeah, that one's a little weird then. So, interior design, decorations, floor. Like something nice and dark. Um. Aw, you peeky baby. Alright, that one's a little too small. Um, that one's, that's a welcome mat. That would be way too small. I feel like that's too fancy. Like, too traditional. Also too small, but very fun. Also too small. Might work for the entryway. Um, I like that's slightly too small. Hmm? You know what? This one kind of basically fills the whole room. Maybe I'll do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see if the rug falls through the floor when I move the bed.
So far the rug's still there. That's promising. Okay, furniture, bedroom, bedside cabinets. Do I want to just do the marble ones that I've been using everywhere? Be on theme. Oh, I've seen the writing prompt for that. It's probably not to my taste, personally. Okay. What? Rikush says, Lately random people on Twitch private message me, ask me if I want to play. Give me their Discord, Steam, and then disable the option to answer them. What even is that? They're users I haven't interacted with ever. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's some kind of scam. Like, if, if you don't know them, don't answer them. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. There are some things that I see people do online that I'm like, this feels like a scam, but how on earth would somebody make money off of this? Like, I know there's gotta be a way they're making money, but... Miku says, I don't want to turn off the option for people to message me, since on stream sometimes we talk with some people in DMs, but what is this? I don't know either. I have most things turned off. I'm... Like, I'm okay with coming across as an unfriendly person, and... <laughs> um, which, you know, sometimes does not work out. But... Yeah. Like, stuff like this is why I get weird about people. Ooh. Okay, I feel like this does look very opulent. Mm -hmm. Trying to think what, like, smaller... Paintings and pictures I have, preferably with gold frames. Thank you. I'm trying to come up with, is there something fun I could do with points for like a bonus stream situation? I'm thinking about it, I'm pondering. Good wardrobe situation. Furniture, bedroom, wardrobes. Oh. What if I actually did like wardrobe across that wall? Like, I like this one. A little small, though. Just 
Little Yoshma. Mm, also match that. So smaller than I would like. There's, I feel like there's tall ceilings in here. I know the ceilings are always the same height, but I feel like there's tall ceilings in here. Okay. What if? Like, can I? Like, perfect fit? And is there like eh? Eh? It doesn't go like all the way to the window and be weird. But close enough. Okay. All the wardrobe. Mm. I think I'll flip this, this one in the middle, and I can make it symmetrical. That'll be satisfying. Oh yeah, I like that. And... Let's see. So there's a corner that could use something. I might be able to fit something at the foot of the bed. Actually, I have. Because I have all that stuff people have ripped out of The Sims. Yes. Right. We've got an awful lot of black going on at this point. Oh. A white one or black one. I feel like the black just blends in a little too much. So a little bit of variety. White is variety at this point. Okay. Here we go. So, I'll need something for on the walls in here, something for that corner. I think the bathroom is fully done, right? Oh, toothpaste. Toothpaste. And some kind of storage down there would be nice. I think before I've used like a shoe cabinet. Yeah. Okay, then they would have some storage. Um, let me actually put a couple towels on top of that. Like, make it extra obvious, basically. Oh yeah, um... that I can put in the shower. This thing. I'll put it back here. Be a little more room under the water. Yeah. I think that's 
smart. And man. what do I have that I could put there? That you'd have something to pop your foot up on while you shave your legs. How big is this thing? Enormous. Okay. It's not actually enormous. It just feels like it is because I'm looking for something smaller. It's slightly too big. Very close though. I remember that. Zip. Um, this, uh, that'll work, yeah, that'll work, okay, I think that's the bathroom fully done, we finished a whole room, and everything else is like really close. Um, standing lamps, table lamps, I do, no, not you, you, it's you, and one here, okay, lots of little lights, way better than one big light, always. Have like magazines. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Riku says, personally, I am a big light person. <gasps> One could see how there would be regular arguments about which light is supposed to be turned on or off. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try an experiment that will probably end terribly. I want to see if it'll let me put a door over the door. I'll just take all of this away again. But I want to see if I can put a door over the door. Doors. by two. It'll need to be a sliding one. not put a door over the door. Right. Uh, actually, that... I think it won't go all the way back, but it might be close enough. It clips into the counter, but I'm not sure I care. Because then I can have the door be nice and matchy. doesn't have to look good like this, because that looks terrible anyway. It just needs to look good in a screenshot. <laughs> okay. And... Let's 
still use the door to leave. I'm proud of myself. I feel like I fixed a dilemma. So, still a bunch of wall there, a bunch of wall there. Um. Hmm, that would also be a really good space for like a gallery wall. Oh. Let me just see what I've got. Hmm. Oh. That mirror, it's fun. And A few others that are the same size. Hang on, where's the other one? There it is. And okay, that this one. Hmm. Okay, Rikush says, I hate how my eyes react when there's too little light. I don't really see well when it's dusk. The same happens when a room is not properly lit up. It makes my vision all fuzzy, therefore my brain feels dizzy. Okay, I have like opposite problem where if there's if the light is too bright, my brain just does not have room for any other input, so all I can think about is how bright the light is. So I will have trouble thinking if it's too bright. Everyone's brains work so differently and it's fascinating. <laughs> Trumpet says I had an optometry appointment yesterday and just realized the doc didn't dilate. I think they're getting to where they don't do that every time. So, hopefully everything's fine. This one's really cute. Alright, hang on. Like here. Oh, this my prescription actually improved the tiniest amount. That sounds lovely. I'm so happy for you. Anyway, um, Ooh. okay, that works. Yeah. I know that 
one's got that weird ring thing going on, but I like the concept. I wonder if I have one that could replace that. I don't think so, but I will look. Okay, here we go. What if you can get a little more balance? That there. This one here. I don't know if that's good or not. Hmm. I'm so awful at gallery walls. Okay, that looks a little more randomized. All right. Have a good evening, Lociation. It's good to see ya. Okay. I think that's... I think that's good. I think that's good. I would love to have, like, one little tiny mirror, but that's... I think not a thing we have. I think the only little tiny one is standing and you can't get a hanging version. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what to do for a centerpiece either, but I think I'm wrapping up. I'd just kind of been hoping to rough in the apartment, and instead it's almost done. Like, I need to do a little bit of entryway stuff here. I'm sure it'll be the same stuff I always do. Uh, I've definitely developed a formula there. And probably a few kitchen accessories, including a rug. I keep forgetting to give the kitchen a rug. Whoops. Possibly a centerpiece. Um, maybe something down here. A couple more plants here and there. A couple more accessories in the living room overall. And none. Decorations, pictures. Hmm. What about these ones. Why does it have weird, weird shadows? Oh dear. Oh well. Okay. Alright. That's probably not good. Okay, so yeah, bathroom's all done. Everything else just needs like tiny bits of accessorizing. If we didn't have D and D tonight, I'd just push through and like, ah, stream's gonna go extra long and see if I can finish the whole thing in one go. But... We have company coming. So I feel like that would not be wise. Really trying to see how fast can I do just a little bit here. It's so so close. Oops. Oops. Okay, that 
fireworks. Yep, dinner time. Um, yeah, we'll do this one, I think. Um, you know what? With the round pattern there, I almost feel like that makes for too much round. When do I ever think that something is too much round? Who am I? Benjamin, I'm not surprised to know that you have LED bulbs that you can um, control by remote. How big is this? Big one is real big. Okay. Click. Okay. Thanks. Old school remote. Oh. Okay, I like that better. Smart homes freak me out just a little too much. I'm so worried that a hacker is going to break into it. It's like I'll be trying to sleep and they'll be down the street turning the lights on and off. sad thought. Luke says, or Amazon just decides they don't like you and your house stops working. There's that fear too. Yeah, especially after the whole Windows holding my computer hostage situation. Yeah. Like, I was a little bit nervous about technology before. Now I'm real nervous about technology. Roy says, could get a poltergeist turning your lights on and off. This is true. I might not even need the smart home. All right. Smart homes are tacky, I say, while putting in the smart mirror. Um... Hang on. There's that one plant. I am wrapping up, believe it or not. Train Casper to do your chores. Oh, I mean, this is not the one I've been thinking of, but it's fun and it's the right shape. I like it. And if them oh, there's that tray. This tray. can put their like ease or whatever in. I have this weird thing where part of me is like, what do you even put on an entryway table if you don't have a landline with a little notepad for taking messages? I'm dated. You know, they have landline phones in this game. I should just start doing that in all the houses anyway. Because, like, dadgummit, that's what I think should be there. All right. Make myself stop. Um, okay, so I can do photo. Is it a picture? 
Oh yeah, I found a bunch of like old timey pictures in the workshop and I want to remember to use those in the Secrets of the Old Clock house. Keep forgetting. That's fun. Okay. Yeah. So, um, we made really good progress today, like way better than I was expecting. I'm very pleased. So, I should be back tomorrow, 3 o'clock Eastern Time. We'll probably finish this apartment and maybe work on some of the others that need to get done. Because I really want to get to the um, last train to Blue Moon Canyon house. I'm excited to do the train home. But, like, I've just had so many that are almost done, including several of the Nancy Drew ones, so I'd like to try to finish those and move on down the line. But, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow working on that. Until then, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm so glad that you were able to spend this time with me. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. Bye, everybody.